friends, welcome to the documentation of hands down the craziest thing I have ever done for my plants. Move and grow, YouTube show. This is next level crazy plant lady vibes and I can't even hand, <laughs> I can't even handle it. I am coming out with a book soon that actually talks about how I don't believe in the term crazy plant lady. I think we should be happy plant ladies. We're not crazy for loving plants. However, if there was ever to be an exception to my own rule, it's this because plant friends, I'm about to try and take a lime tree to Florida from New York on an airplane. So to give you some backstory, this is Limey. He's my bear's lime tree. And although he looks like so sad and sickly right now, Limey is a treasured member of our plant family, me and my husband. He's the first, I've had him for four years. He's the first plant that my husband and I, we were boyfriend and girlfriend back then, got together. And he's kind of the first plant that um, we bonded over. And I feel like there was a huge shift after we got Limey in how my husband like approached and supported my passion for plants because he got to watch a lime grow off of this tree and harvest it and have a mojito. And you know, we don't really name our plants in our household, but Limey has a name. We only have a couple of plants that have names and they're ones that we've kind of named together and Limey has a name. So if you've been following along my journey on the Blooming Girl Radio podcast, you know that this last year has been really crazy for me. We've moved three times. We've been living in rentals where we haven't had control over the light and um, our ability to like install grow lights in like some homes like the one that I'm currently in. And so, although Limey had been very happy <laughs> in our previous homes, he is really, he's been too sensitive, um, not too sensitive, but he's too sensitive for what I've put him through in the last year because of my personal life circumstances. And because of that, he's had several situations where he's dropped all of his leaves um, and just, he's so unhappy, obviously. Interestingly enough though, this summer when I was gardening with my friend Melody, I have a couple of videos of how I gardened with her in her amazing organic garden this summer, this past summer. I put Limey in Melody's garden and he thrived. He was four times as large as the plant that you see right now. And that was a real moment for me to really understand that although it's so fun for us to grow citrus indoors, you really need such specific conditions in order for them to thrive. And these guys wanna be outside in the sun, right? Like that's, that's what they're meant to do, like most of our house plants. So uh, when we moved to our next home, I left him outside for too long, he got a shock. Um, and then our, our house is just way too low light. And because we're in a furnished rental, I can't install grow lights. So my parents moved to West Palm Beach this year. I live in upstate New York in the Catskills. And they have a beautiful, sunny Floridian home with a lawn and my mom already has a couple of citrus trees. So we are going to visit my parents um, tomorrow and I got the crazy idea to rehome Limey with my parents because my mom's an amazing gardener. She knows Limey's story. She's met Limey before. Um, Limey actually has lived at her house um, in her yard for a few summers. And she got very excited at the idea of taking in her grand plant baby, right? So if you've listened to the podcast before, you know that Espoma Organics has been a long time sponsor partner of Bloom and Grow Radio. They're, they've been an amazing partner and really supported me and made it made me able to bring content to our listener community, our podcast community, our YouTube community. I, they've gotten to know me pretty well and they know the story of Limey and I was on a call with them and I jokingly mentioned, I'm thinking about rehoming Limey to Florida and they did the most amazing thing. They said, get Limey to Florida. We will buy him a ticket on the airplane with you. And I was like, you're kidding me. And they were like, we think it'd be really funny. We understand that it's important for you to get Limey. So if you can make it happen, like we will fund Limey's adventures to Florida. Um, so I just wanted to say in this video, thank you Espoma for encouraging this insane journey of mine and for supporting me. Um, with part with sponsor partners for bloom and grow like i really view a lot of my partnerships as partnerships it's not just a one-off sponsor of a video if if you've known me and my brand you know that i have long-term partnerships you've been hearing about the same company for a while this is a beautiful example of that partnership where they're like no we're getting limey to florida what do you need how can we help you we'll ship you soil we'll get, we'll, we'll pay for whatever you need like get them down there so anyway um i bought a ticket <laughs> to get Lamy on the airplane. Um, however, before that I had to do research because I do wanna stress that I am documenting 
this journey and this is definitely more of a story time in the beginning of this video and then I'll show you footage on how this adventure unfolds after but there's so much context that I have to give um, but just what I wanted to say is there are import and export laws state to state different states have different rules obviously different countries have different rules so before you do this you must do your research I have spent the last two weeks calling the Department of Agriculture in Florida, speaking to JetBlue, and making sure that I'm not breaking any rules by doing this and that this really is just like a funny, crazy plant lady story. Because I understand that if I make a video about this and educate you guys about the experience, I need to tell you that. So don't do this unless you've done your research and gotten permission, okay? Great. So after I received the support from Espoma, it kind of just really got me thinking and I thought, you know what, like, let's do it. This is a hilarious story. And the first thing I wanna say about Limey is, I think a lot of people are gonna watch this video and content and think that I'm absolutely insane. Um, and I totally agree with them and also understand why, right? Um, I've had many plants die in my possession. Last week, I composted a couple of them. Um, however, Limey is like a very special plant to me. Um, he was, like I said, the first plant that I really was able to cultivate and care for with my husband. And also, I learned so many firsts on this plant. So um, this was the first plant I ever pruned. When Limey came into our house, he got transplant shock. I learned he had this one really long stem and I pruned him and it was terrifying. I remember making that first cut and being so nervous. And then lo and behold, a couple weeks later, he grew all of this lateral growth, right? So that was a huge, I mean, if you know me, I talk about pruning all the time um, from like a spiritual perspective. Um, that was, he taught me that lesson, right? He taught me about watering. I was watering him completely incorrectly. He taught me, if you want to talk about a spoma, he taught me about high quality soil and how important it was to get him in like a citrus mix because I had him in wrong mix in the beginning. He taught me, he was my first plant that got root bound and taught me about up potting. He was my first plant that um, taught me about fertilizer. He was my first plant that got spider mites and I had to figure out how to fix that. So. I'm not saying that I've been a great citrus plant parent, right? But I'm saying that he has been a beautiful teacher for me. And if I can not kill him, I want to try. And I also think that it's really, um, a real, it's going to be a really funny story. And I'm excited to have this experience with my mom when I get down to Florida because we're going to set up a whole citrus grove for her in her house. And it's going to be really fun. So sorry if it seems like I'm getting emotional talking about him. Um, I don't get emotional like this talking about a lot of my plants, but I just like look at my journey um, as a plant parent and Limey has been a huge part of that and a huge part of my life lessons. So call me crazy. I don't care. Um, I'm thankful for all the lessons that this little plant has taught me. So before we dive in, I also want to preface that I'm taking an enormous risk right now. It is completely possible that he doesn't make the flight. He could get confiscated mistakenly in the airport. Um, he could go through complete shock and die, right? So I am fully aware that there is a very small chance that this is gonna work out. <laughs> and at the same time, I know that he's not gonna make it through the next year because we have some more moves in our future. So I'd rather take this chance, learn again. He's gonna be my first lessons of learning about how to apply to the Department of Agriculture in Florida for a permit, which I'll talk to you about in a minute. Um, but yeah, I just figured that why not? Why not take this as a learning opportunity, make a really funny video about it and, and see that maybe there could be a positive ending to this and he can live out his days in the Floridian sunshine with Mama Faella. I think that would be really cool. Let's talk about all the people that I had to speak to to make this happen. So first off, I had to get Escoma's blessing. Second off, or Escoma gave me their blessing out of nowhere. Um, then I realized through some help of some listeners, so thank you in advance, that importing citrus is illegal in Florida. So I had to, um, I called the Department of Agriculture in Florida. I was transferred around to the right person, right? Um, and initially spoke about bringing Limey in and generally they do not allow citrus into the state. And I was initially told that I wouldn't um, be able to do it. But if you watch Parks and Recreation, Leslie Nope is my idol and I have major Leslie Nope energy. Um, and when I get fixated on something, I need to really do my best to see if I could make it work before letting it go. So I wrote them an email about Limey and his story and really expressing that this is really gonna go live in my parents' house. Like it's, I'm, it's not gonna be invasive in any way. And um, 
they wrote me back a very kind email. Shout out, the Florida Department of Agriculture has been so kind to me and helpful and um, understanding of how insane I am. They wrote me back and said, here's an application, submit this application and we'll see if we can, you know, approve it. And lo and behold, and I submitted it thinking that it probably wouldn't happen, but lo and behold, they approved for Limey to come. So next stop, so they have given me a permit, which I'm calling Limey's passport, that I have to travel with with him. And um, when I get into Florida, they'll send a representative to my house to um, inspect him. And then it'll be good to go and he can live out his days with my parents. Hopefully, we'll see how it all goes. And then I've also reached, reached out to JetBlue to confirm that I can bring plants on a plane in, um, it, within a, in a ride within the States and it is allowed. So I wanted to make sure that I've covered all the bases um, with doing this because I don't want to show up to the airport tomorrow and get him confiscated, which I understand is still still potentially something that could happen if, if people don't understand the rules. So next stop, okay, I've got my approvals. Next stop is, and I've got you know the ticket and the access. I have to figure out how to bring Limey on the plane. My first thought is it would be hilarious if I could get the seat next to me and put Limey in a box and like make a whole stick out of it, but we didn't have open seats next to us. Then I realized, I can't put him on a seat because he's gonna knock over. So then I realized, okay, here's another risk that we're gonna take. I am gonna prune him to fit in my away suitcase. This, they don't sponsor me, but I'm a big lover of away. Um, I've had it for a while because I'm a trap. I used to be a traveling performer and suitcases are important. So my thought is I'm gonna prune him. I'm gonna remove him from his pot, wrap his roots, shake off what soil, isn't necessary, but maintain some soil, wrap his roots in uh, wet paper towels in a plastic bag. And then I'm gonna put that in the bottom of this, um, this side of my suitcase that has this mesh. And then this will be my carry-on. And to remind myself that when I'm moving around in the airport, that this is the side that I need to be careful. And when I put him in the overhead compartment, this is the side that needs to be up. I'm gonna put my Bloom and Grow Radio stickers on this side. So tomorrow I'm gonna to do my best to be sleuthy and record some footage in the airport on my phone. I'm not gonna bring my camera, my, my vlogging camera, because I don't wanna to attract too much attention to myself in the airport. Um, however, this is how I'll know, and if you see it, you'll know that this is where Limey is. So this is where Limey is. But I intend to record that experience, record getting to Florida, maybe um, the, the FD, uh, the Department of Agriculture agent might talk to me. If he is, I'd be happy to record our conversation. And then also what I want to record is I want to set my mom up with a citrus grove in her new house because they just moved and bought their dream house in Florida. I'm so happy for them. So I want to set my mom up with a big citrus grove and give Limey some brothers and sisters. Um, and we will just see how it goes. I'll be in Florida for two weeks. I can keep a watchful eye on him. And we will see. So plan friends, come along for the ride. Who knows what's gonna happen, but uh, I appreciate your support and that your inner crazy plant person reflects my inner crazy plant person. So Limey, let's do it. Okay, plant friends, welcome to Florida. We are here in sunny Florida. You can tell by how big and voluminous my hair is. I am recording outside of my parents' house because their house is like a freaking WeWork right now. We've got like six different people working remotely. So I'm recording this video, walking you through what the actual flight process looked like before me and my mom go shopping for citrus and show you what we do with Limey. But the flight was successful. It actually ended up being a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. It was smooth sailing. What I ended up doing was the night before the flight was a little crazy. We took Limey, we ended up staying at an airport hotel outside of Newark. We took Limey into our hotel, shout out to the Marriott, um, into our hotel. And the morning of, I ended up taking him out of his pot, bagging his root ball, and then pruning him to the size of my suitcase like we discussed. You probably maybe followed along on my social media. If you haven't checked out my Instagram and TikTok, I highly recommend checking out the ridiculous videos that I made <laughs> documenting this. I think we, were, we can throw up a couple as I'm talking this through. But we got Limey into the suitcase. I had TSA pre-check, Limey had TSA pre-check, so he got right through. Um, I had checked with JetBlue ahead of time that it was okay to fly, and the whole process was super easy. I did upgrade my seat, so I was in group A boarding just to make sure that we had plenty of time to board and get 
the valuable, you know, overhead compartment bin reserved space because, you know, it's like throwing elbows to actually get your suitcase in the overhead compartment these days when you fly. But it was a smooth flight. Um, I wasn't able to take a lot of footage because I didn't want to draw attention to myself, but <laughs> it was good. We got back and then took immediately took Limey out of the suitcase um, and he, he looked great. I think my mom was a little shocked <laughs> to see how short I had to cut him down once again. I mean, this is all just such an experiment. We'll see. He made it! He's my little sprig of a lime tree now. <laughs> but it's okay. We brought you back to the studs. You're gonna grow again. Your grand this is your grand plant. <laughs> if I'm the mom, then you're the grandma. <laughs> And now for the second half of the video where it gets fun. So I giggled so much, my whole family got such a kick out of a very special package that we got in the mail. Okay, mom, what just happened? Well, we just got a package for Limey Bayella <laughs> from Espoma. And they sent us some wonderful new potting mix and cactus mix. So now that we have limey in tow, we have the citrus and potting mix that we need and the fertilizer. We've got the pots. It's time to get limey some siblings. Okay, plant friends, we made it. Billy, me, and Limey made it to Florida to Mama Fiella's house. I'm so happy for my parents. They really bought their dream house on a golf course. <laughs> How, what has it been like for you relocating to Florida from the New York winters? Um, it, you know, when they say dream house, you don't understand what dream house means until you move into a house in Florida where the sky is blue every day. We have clouds that make new pictures for you every day, and the sun is out, and it's just happy times. And hopefully, we'll have some happy plants here. Yeah, it's interesting. It's completely different vegetation. The way you gardened in New York isn't going to apply. But talk about Dream House. You probably hear the trickling feature of their amazing pool. I go in the hot tub every morning to do my meditation. Um, but we're going to go get some siblings for Limey. Yes. Mom is, I'm very excited. We're gonna get some yellow, I hope, some green, and maybe some orange if we could find it. Yeah, we'll see what so we can we'll find. So we'll see if we get a rainbow of friends for Limey. Yes, and, and you know, it's very interesting. I kind of very hard, thick skulled, um, stubbornly really insisted on bringing Limey here, not realizing that Southern Florida actually has a huge issue with citrus greening, which is a disease that's kind of taken out most of the citrus in Southern Florida. I've learned a little bit more about it. I'm gonna leave a really informative YouTube video up here um, that you guys could go learn about it. So we understand this whole idea has been a risk bringing Limey down here. We understand for you native Floridians that maybe these, we're hoping that because we're putting them in high quality product that you know, the citrus survive. There's a chance that citrus screening could happen, but I think you're pretty set on getting a citrus grove growing. Right. And even if we only have the fruit for a couple of years, it'll still be fun. Hey, you gotta try. You gotta try. And the flowers smell so good. Oh my, oh my God. When you have a citrus tree plant in bloom, the perfume that they emanate for everyone is just amazing. I'd love to have an orchard of it. Yes. But I don't have the space for an orchard, so we're gonna do a mini orchard. So we're gonna do a mini orchard. The pool is right here, and I've identified, Laura from Garden Answer did a great video on growing citrus in uh, in containers, and she suggested Eastern light, but avoiding west uh, too much Western light because you don't wanna scorch the leaves. So I've identified this nice little rock bed over here that faces the pool. It's right up against this these beautiful windows that my mom has. So I was thinking it might be cute to get the containers and kind of spread them out across the rock bed. And it'll be like Citrus Alley. And the hose is right near it. And the hose is right near it. So, so I don't have to fill um, watering cans. Yes, I think it's time to go shopping. Yes, let's and go find some. And let's go find some citrus. Let's go find some citrus. Okie dokie. Okay, <laughs> bye. Okay, mom and I, Mama Fiella is back. Hi, say hi, hi everyone. friends. <laughs> we 
are, have been driving around for a while trying to find citrus and good plants to set mom up for. We tried the independent garden center. It didn't work. No. They, we, mom was not happy. So we're at a big box store. Um, we've realized that it's hard to find citrus in Florida because of the issues with citrus. And um, the only places you can find it is big box stores because they can take care of them appropriately. Um, and we're going to see what else they have. So how do you feel, mom? Are you excited to get Limey some friends? Yes, he needs a whole bunch of friends. Yeah, let's go get him. Every color. Every color. Okay. Every flavor. Every okay. flavor. <laughs> All right, let's go in and see what they have. Okay, bye. Here we are in Citrus Alley. We've decided we had a meeting last night and we're calling this Citrus Alley. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be so fragrant when, when it blooms. So mom, do you wanna talk about Limey's new siblings? Okay, Limey has some new friends and siblings. We have this gorgeous Meyer lemon plant and it's got all kinds of blooms and it's got some nice blooms that are about to happen too. It's a nice healthy plant. The leaves are nice and green, no spots, no nothing. And um, it smells amazing. amazing. Yeah. Such a perfume. Yeah. Anyway, this is our Meyer lemons plant. I don't know what we're gonna name her, but it's a girl. But it's a girl. Oh, this is the gardenia. This isn't a citrus actually. This isn't a citrus, but we're gonna stick her in for scented blooms. For scented blooms. She's very healthy also. She's gonna be very showy. And um, we're gonna stick her in the middle of the citrus plants because they need some friends that aren't citrus. This is the Eureka lemon. Also a nice healthy looking plant with some buds. And then over here we have a Persian lime. So and he's got thorns. So he's a boy. Because we thought Limey needed a brother, a Limey, a Lime brother, and then some lemon girlfriends. And or sisters. Let's not forget about Miss Clementine. Oh yeah. A tangerine. Tangerine Clementine. We don't know what we're doing with this one, but we're gonna put it in a she's smaller adorable. pot. She's adorable. She's really cute. She's a cute. tangerine Clementine. Yeah. So she's a girl. And she also has nice little buds. Can't wait for them to bloom to smell what she smells like and hopefully get a couple of little uh, fruits from her too. Oh, and we're forgetting the most important person. Limey. Limey. Um, he looks kind of sad. He hasn't enjoyed the journey, but his roots look like they're in good shape. Hopefully his siblings are gonna make him perk up. It is funny to like look at him versus looking at all of these healthy plants that have been living outside. Um, but the thought is we're gonna put the tangerine and limey in these two smaller pots because they have a more modest root system. And then we're gonna put the other larger citrus plants in these larger pots so they can fill out. They're probably gonna grow pretty rapidly as you can see this area gets really nice morning light. Um, so let's get to potting, Mom. Okay, let's get to potting. We'll get our hands dirty. Let's go. Let's do it. Okay, plant friends. So Limey is going to be our first uh, surgical patient, I guess. My mom, <laughs> my mom is a nurse, so she'll be able to <laughs> help out with this. So what we're going to do is we're going to prepare a major container filled with a mixture of the Espoma Organic Cactus Mix, which is for citrus, and the Espoma Organic Potting Mix, which we've already put in. Because these plants are in containers in Florida, we actually wanna make sure that normally citrus needs fast draining soil, but we wanna make sure that there's enough moisture retention in the soil that they're not gonna like completely dry out and fry and my mom doesn't have to water them 100 times a day. So, we're, this is a 15 inch pot and then we're gonna hit it with the secret, to, the secret to success, Citrus Tone, which is a Spoma Organic Citrus Fertilizer. Now this bag, we're gonna go by the instructions. So this is a 15 inch pot and it says for new plants, you mix two cups of citrus tone per cubic foot. I did the math and this is a little bit under a cubic foot of soil. So we're gonna put just under two cups of citrus tone in our mixture and then we're gonna pot it up. Then as my mom continues to care for them, she'll just sprinkle citrus tone on the top. 
Okay, we can't figure out how to turn the pool filter off, so we brought you a little bit closer. I hope you can hear us. But anyway, uh, yeah, so let's create a big... Wait, wait, wait. Oh no, this is just the cactus mix. So let's fill it up first. So we have one bag of potting mix, one bag of cactus mix. You want to dump another bag of cactus mix. And then another bag, maybe... Yeah, I think we can put two more bags in there. So this is just regular dirt for cactuses. Yeah, regular potting mix. This is potting mix for cactuses. Oh, and it looks like, it looks medicinal. Yeah, you want to start mixing? It smells medicinal too. It's It smells, it smells like, like fertilizer. <laughs> it smells like fertilizer for sure. And that's a nice word. Yeah. Here, I'm going to make a hole. Okay. Keep going down. Can't waste any of the precious goods. And then this is a little bit under, so I'm going to be conservative with, I'm going to just do another half cup because I don't want to overdo it. So I think this is pretty good. I think that looks good. So let's start with limey. Let's get limey going first. Yeah. And then okay, you hold them up, give them a little bed to sit on. Yeah. Okay. All right, limey. We're sorry. <laughs> we love you. A little more. One more. Yeah. And now, now we're, we're going to cover this. Now I don't need to free his roots up because they're pretty free. Um, okay. We really should have gloves on and protective gear. Whenever I garden outside, I usually have gloves on and protective gear, but this is just potting. So Yeah. So it's okay. So it's And okay. we're on your I'm also not wearing shoes. My mom Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, not yeah, that I'm not wearing, wearing shoes, shoes either. There, you know, when you go out there and you work in the elements, you really gotta protect yourself. All right, so I think this is good for limey. So next, let I noticed, Maria, you press the dirt down. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're supposed to do? Yeah, you wanna press the dirt down because as you water, so the soil is actually loose, and when you water, the water is gonna help trickle down and settle the soil, but you don't want any air bubbles because as you put limey in, sometimes the soil can kind of get stuck on the outside of the pot, so it's kind of important to like mash down the soil. Not too hard, you don't wanna compact the soil, but you wanna put enough pressure on it so that it's able to settle, then you wanna give it a really good water the first time so everything can drain through, uh, which we'll do with the hose over there. But let's get everybody potted first okay. and then we'll water everyone down. Well, you see, you learn something new every day. I didn't know about pressing down the dirt like that. I've always had a little bit of air, so I learned something new every day. And that's why it's good to come to her podcasts. You learn a lot of new things. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Mama Paella. So this is the pot that... Whoop, hello. So this is the pot that we're going to put the bigger citrus in. I wish I could have found one that's maybe a little bit smaller, but it's, we're working with what we got. And Mama Faella is not fancy. So <laughs> um, we're putting the soil... It's important to get... Um, can you see? Yes. It's apparently very important to get the citrus out of these black pots because they'll fry. Um, and you want to make sure that you have a pot with drainage. So this has an interesting drainage system that catches. I don't know if I love this because the water will sit in the bottom. I might just have my mom set them out like this, but we'll see. So this is what we're working with. All right, now that we've got limey done, we've got this prepared with a nice bottom of soil. I'm gonna push the soil kind of to the side to create a nice little well. Do you wanna pull that guy? How stuck is he in that pot? All right, nicely done. Now, before we put it in, we wanna break up the bottom in case, actually, he's not root bound at all. So I'm just gonna give him a little massage to free up some of the soil that he was already in. Mix it all up together. And then, great. That looks good, right? Yeah. Now, actually, I could use it on this table. We can just sweep it up. It does bite. All these citruses have thorns. Yeah, he's a pretty healthy guy. All right, I think we're good with this guy. I think we're good. Okay. All right. 
On to the time lapse. Okay, plant friends, so we potted everything up. Now I'm, Mama Faella had to go run an errand. I am gonna water everything really thoroughly and uh, let everything settle and rearrange it nicely so when she gets back, she'll have Citrus Alley underway. <laughs> One last task I'm gonna do is because I just watered them so thoroughly, um, some of the roots on the top of their soil got exposed. So I'm just gonna top all of the pots off with a little more potting mix and we're good to go. So we'll, we'll wait and see later uh, what Mama Faella thinks of everything and check in with you in a bit. Okay, so it has been five days since we, no, it's been a few days since we planted all the citrus. Everybody's established. No one's died yet, so that's great. Yeah, nobody's died, but we do have <laughs> some new friends. We do have some new friends. One of, only one of our plants seems to be infested with caterpillars, but I Googled them, and they're a special orange dog caterpillar that turns into a swallowtail butterfly. And if they end up hatching on your plant, you're actually advised not to, not to, um, eradicate them because they're pollinators. So we're gonna leave those little caterpillar friends alone on one of the lemon trees. We've got two lemons. Yes, we have lemons. And we have a bunch of baby limes. So I think it's really exciting. We had some flowers last week, but this week we've got baby lemons. You see the pistol and stamen is still in, but we have the fruit growing right out from underneath it. So it's been pollinated and we're gonna have a wonderful fruit there. Here's some more beautiful flowers. The scent from this plant it's is so amazing. good. It, I wish there was a perfume like this. So the caterpillars are eating the leaves. They are <laughs> eating the leaves. And you'll notice it's over here and they seem to be in a they don't have legs like regular caterpillars. No, I they're thought almost, they were slugs when I was yeah, looking at them. Yeah, they look like slugs, like worms. But um, apparently they turn into swallowtails, so we're going to leave them be. Okay, but they 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 got a big appetite. They got look at how much leaf they ate over here. Yeah. He ate that whole big thing. He ate this whole leaf <laughs> coming up, and he's looking at this one he's resting on. He's eating over here. He's already moved from here to there. So caterpillars, while they might be beautiful butterflies, I don't know if they're gonna be my best friends. Yeah, I don't know either, but we'll, no. we'll ride with it for now. We've yeah. got, that's why we got a couple of different citrus. We'll take a couple of days and see how many leaves are left. And if they don't, <laughs> if they eat all my leaves, they're gonna, they're gonna have to go someplace else. <laughs> I love it. I will transplant them. I love it. Okay. Okay, cool. <laughs> Mom, what'd you just find? Look what I just found, my first gardenia. Oh my God, that thing is beautiful. How does it smell? It's unfolding on itself. Half of it is open, half of it is not. It smells so sweet and succulent, like honey would smell. Just wonderful. The first time I ever met a gardenia was at a high school prom. A boy who I went to prom with gave me gardenia corsage. I thought it was roses, but I couldn't get over the smell these roses had. And I said to him, I said, these are the best roses ever. He said, they're gardenias. <laughs> <laughs> That's that was the boy from Park Avenue. And now I, you remember him every time, you, <laughs> every time you smell a gardenia. Every time I smell a gardenia, I think of my high school friend, Billy Murray. <laughs> oh my God, shout out Billy Murray. <laughs> Well, very excited. So between the citrus blossoms and the gardenia, this is going to be a this wonderful waft exciting. of scents. very exciting. I have a beautiful gardenia here. Cool. Thank you, Esboma, <laughs> <laughs> for this beautiful citrus orchard and oh. gardenias. So yeah, I mean, we've got limes, we've got baby limes and lemons growing. Limey does have a lime, even though he's got four leaves. We'll see he if it sticks. A lime. <laughs> we'll see if it sticks. I'm hoping that 
he grows more leaves. Um, but I think this has been a really fun experiment. Your tan, your clementine looks like it's really thriving. It's very happy. Very so happy. my clementine is very happy. Yeah, I think now it's just going to be about gonna figuring her red. Red? Okay, red, red, red the clementine. Red. I love that. We'll have to come up with names for everyone. Mm -hmm. um, now it's just going to be about figuring out the sweet spot of watering because these plants are obviously adjusting to this scenario. They're getting beautiful eastern morning light. Then as you can see right now, they're already in the shade, but still they're getting a lot of light because it's Florida and shade is still a lot of light. Um, this has been such a fun project. I'm so happy to have hooked you up with Citrus Alley. Me too. <laughs> Thank you very much to Espoma Thank Organics Espoma. for I don't know, believing in our, our experiment. <laughs> for this wonderful experiment, for being as crazy about plants as I am and, and helping me bring Limey down here and setting you up with Citrus Alley. Let us know in the comments what your favorite part of today's video was. And if Mama Fila was to come back on the YouTube channel, what would you want to see us do next? How to make gin and tonics with all our limey. With all of our limeys. <laughs> yes, the lime and lemons. We're gonna make delicious cocktails. And you know what? Let's go make one now to call in all the citrus that you're gonna grow. Okay. And until next time, plant friends, keep blooming. And keep growing. <laughs> and watching Bloom and Grow Radio. <laughs> That's great. <gasps> Do 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 do